हॅलो डिअर स्टुडंट वेलकम माय सेल्फ वी एस शिंदे इन अवर प्रिव्हियस लेक्चर वी हॅव सीन द सिलेबस डिस्कशन अँड सम बेसिक कन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड विथ इनऑर्गॅनिक रिॲक्शन मेकॅनिझम सो स्टुडंट टुडे वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट सब्स्टिट्यूशन इन ऑक्टाहेड्रल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस सो स्टुडंट लेट सी सब्स्टिट्यूशन इन ऑक्टाहेड्रल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज सब्स्टिट्यूशन रिॲक्शन सो सब्स्टिट्यूशन रिॲक्शन इन्वॉल्व्स द रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ वन लिगँड बाय अनदर लिगँड वॉट इज द सब्स्टिट्यूशन रिॲक्शन द रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ वन लिगँड बाय अनदर लिगँड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ॲज सब्स्टिट्यूशन न्यूक्लिओ फाईल बिकॉज हियर लिगँड ॲक्ट ॲज अ न्यूक्लिओ फाईल स्टुडंट इन सम केसेस इन सम केसेस द सेंट्रल मिटल आयन मे ऑल्सो गेट रिप्लेस्ड बाय अदर मिटल आयन दिस टाइम द सब्स्टिट्यूशन इज कॉल्ड ॲज इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्स्टिट्यूशन इन सम केसेस द सेंट्रल मिटल आयन मे ऑल्सो गेट रिप्लेस्ड बाय अदर मिटल आयन दॅट टाइम द सब्स्टिट्यूशन इज कॉल्ड ॲज इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्स्टिट्यूशन सो लेट सी द मेकॅनिझम ऑफ सब्स्टिट्यूशन इन केस ऑफ ऑक्टाहेड्रल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस वॉट आर द ऑक्टाहेड्रल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस द कॉम्प्लेक्स कंटेनिंग कॉर्डिनेशन नंबर सिक्स अलॉंग विथ सेंट्रल मिटल ॲटम ओके सो लेट सी दिस इज द जनरल एक्झाम्पल ऑफ सब्स्टिट्यूशन रिॲक्शन सी दिस इज युअर ऑक्टाहेड्रल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस दिस इज सेंट्रल मिटल ॲटम एम अँड एल फाय अँड एक्स आर नथिंग बट युअर लिगँड्स एम एल फायू एक्स वेन बिंग अटॅक्ट विथ दिस वाय इट गिव्स द एम एल फायू वाय अलॉंग विथ x this is nothing but your general substitution reaction what is the general substitution reaction ml5x this is octahedral complex when this complex being attacked with this incoming ligand which act as a nucleophile here uh, nucleophile here it gives ml5y along with x as a product this is nothing but substitution reaction student uh, the substitution reaction in octahedral complexes we can follow three different ways first of all dissociative mechanism second is associative mechanism and third one is interchange mechanism what is the dissociative mechanism it is also called as sn1 that is substitution nucleophilic unimolecular mechanism associative mechanism what is associative mechanism it is also called as substitution nucleophilic bimolecular mechanism and last one is interchange mechanism in short we will see what happen in case of sn1 sn1 means dissociative mechanism in sn1 type of mechanism or in dissociative type of mechanism the first step of substitution reaction is dissociative or dissociation uh, that is uh, removal of x ligand uh, this will happen in case of dissociative mechanism and in case of associative mechanism there is association of this y ligand or addition of this y ligand in first step this is nothing but sn2 or associative mechanism so uh, first of all we will see types of intermediate formation during sn1 and sn2 mechanism hmm. uh, before proceeding our main topic that is dissociative associative and interchange mechanism let's see uh, the intermediate formation during sn1 and sn2 mechanism let's consider the octahedral complex that is ml5x is being attacked by ligand y so first of all in case of sn1 that is substitution nucleophilic unimolecular or it is also called as dissociative mechanism let's see which kind of intermediate we will get this is your main complex that is ml5x when this ml5x being attacked with this y uh, it gives the product ml5y but in case of sn1 or dissociative mechanism the first step is dissociation of this x ligand 
this step is nothing but RDS that is rate determining step and this step is slowest one which gives ML phi u y phi u coordinated intermediate then this intermediate undergoes addition of this y ligand this step is now fast one which gives ML phi u y having six coordination number okay student let me clear again this is dissociative mechanism mechanism uh, sorry this is the dissociative mechanism reaction uh, when this ml 5 x being attacked with this y but in case of dissociative mechanism or sn1 type of mechanism first step is dissociation of this x ligand this step is slowest one that is rate determining step which gives ml 5 intermediate uh, having five coordination number then this intermediate undergoes addition of y ligand or nucleophile this step is now fast one which gives ml 5 y as a product having again six coordination number let's focus on this intermediate now uh, in dissociative kind of mechanism the intermediate having five coordination number so let's see the possible geometries of five coordination number these are two geometry possible geometries having five coordination number this is first geometry that is trigonal bipyramidal and second one is square pyramidal both geometries having five coordination number one two three four five one two three four five hmm? this is trigonal bipyramidal and second one is square pyramidal this uh, this is about dissociative mechanism intermediate and let's see in case of associative mechanism or sn2 mechanism let's see first of all the general uh, reaction in case of associative mechanism this is again ml 5 x having six coordination complex when this complex being attacked with this y now this time in case of associative mechanism the first step is slowest one and this is direct at a, uh, this is direct addition of this y ligand in this complex which gives ml 5 y x having seven coordination number intermediate then uh, next step is fast one and here is in next step there is removal of x ligand we will get ml 5 y as an product as a product having six coordination number okay uh, what is happen here ml 5 x having six coordination number act as a main complex when this complex being attacked with y in case of associative mechanism this step is slowest one that is first step is slowest one in this step there is direct addition of or association of this y which gives ml 5 y x having seven coordination number intermediate and then in next step there is removal of x ligand or dissociation of this x ligand which gives ml 5 y as a product having six coordination number students let's focus on this intermediate that is ml 5 y x here is again uh, two possibilities of intermediate there are two possible geometries in case of seven coordination number intermediate first of all is capped octahedron and second one is pentagonal bipyramidal what is this capped octahedron and pentagonal bipyramidal having seven coordination number one two three four five six seven here is also seven coordination number or seven ligands okay this was about uh, formation of intermediate during sn1 and sn2 what happened in case of SN1? There are two possible geometries in case of SN1, trigonal, bipyramidal and square pyramidal. And in case of uh, SN2, uh, again there are two possible geometries, capped octahedron and pentagonal bipyramidal. Okay, now let's see the main mechanism in case of substitution in octahedral complexes. So let's see, first is SN1 mechanism. It is also called as dissociative mechanism or unimolecular nucleophilic substitution. See, this is the general reaction. Um, in two step first of all ml 5 x complex undergoes dissociation hmm? as name suggests that sn1 mechanism or dissociative mechanism uh, uh, sorry in first step what happened here ml 5 x 
dissociate first X ligand. This step is slowest one, which gives ML5Y have as a uh, as an intermediate along with X. Hmm? This step is first step and slowest step. In next step, this intermediate adds this Y ligand. We, this step is now fast one, which gives ML5Y as a product having six coordination number. Let's see point wise. Complex undergoes dissociation to form five coordinated intermediate. What happened here? This complex undergo first of all dissociation um, to get five coordinated intermediate. In next step, total bond breaking in transition state what happened here total bond breaking in transition state so the rate of reaction is totally depend on substrate hmm? the rate of reaction is totally depends on substrate so it is a first order reaction in uh, uh, sn1 mechanism is first order reaction so rate of reaction is only depends on concentration of complex that is concentration of ml5x so the rate is directly proportional to ml5x or rate is equal to k1 ml5x rate is directly proportional to ml5x or uh, rate r is equal to k1 ml5x k1 r is nothing but dissociation rate constant this was about sn1 mechanism in case of octahedral complexes okay see uh, how to remember sn1 mechanism in case of sn1 mechanism or dissociative type of mechanism first step is dissociation of x ligand which gives ml5 as a uh, five coordinated intermediate then this intermediate undergoes um, association of y or uh, uh, being attacked with this y ligand which gives ml5 y what happened here total bond breaking in transition state so the rate of reaction is depends on concentration of ml5 x as name indicates that it is a uh, sn1 mechanism the rate of reaction is first or sorry uh, the order of reaction is first order reaction here is uh, how to uh, the trick to remember the order of reaction in case of sn1 here is one so it is first order reaction okay so rate is equal to r is equal to k1 ml5 x k1 ml5 x k1 is nothing but dissociation rate constant let's see sn2 mechanism it is also called as associative mechanism or bimolecular nucleophilic substitution mechanism. This is general mechanism or general reaction for SN2 mechanism. What happened here in case of ML uh, in case of ML5X? This is our starting material is being attacked with Y, but in case of associative mechanism, the first step is slowest one, which directly gives the association of Y, which gives ML5XY as a as an intermediate having seven coordination number. Then in next step, this ML5XY dissociates X ligand. This step is fast one, which gives ML5Y as a product okay hmm. complex undergoes association first of all complex undergoes association to form seven coordinated intermediate the total bond making in transition state is happen here what happened here the total bond making in transition state so the rate of reaction is depends upon substrate and the entering ligand hmm. so the rate of reaction is depends substrate and entering ligand so it is a second order reaction in our previous case that is in case of sn1 mechanism the rate was first order reaction and what uh, what was the trick as sn1 uh, one indicate first order reaction here two indicate second order reaction hmm? this is the trick to remember first order and second order of reaction hmm? the third is rate of reaction is depends upon concentration of complex as well as concentration of incoming ligand hmm? so the rate law is directly proportional to ml5x and y 
so the rate law is depends upon ml 5 x and y so r is equal to k2 ml 5 x and y k2 is nothing but associative rate constant this was about sn2 mechanism it is also called as bimolecular nucleophilic substitution mechanism uh, this mechanism is uh, two step mechanism what happen in case of first step ml 5 x is direct uh, in first step this step is lowest one this is direct association of y so it gives ml 5 x y as an intermediate having seven coordination number then this intermediate undergoes dissociation of x or removal of x which gives ml 5 y as a product having six coordination number hmm. uh, and what happened here the total bond making in transition state so the rate of reaction is depends upon concentration of this complex or uh, and concentration of incoming ligand so it is a second order reaction so rate is equal to k2 ml 5 x y k2 is associative rate constant this was about sn1 mechanism and sn2 mechanism let's see the last mechanism so student this was our last mechanism uh, sorry this is our last mechanism that is interchange mechanism in this case interchange mechanism are of two types first is interchange dissociative it is also called as id and interchange associative that is ia this is the general mechanism of interchange mechanism in this case ml5x when being attacked with this y it gives transition state not intermediate and in transition state or it is also called as activated complex in this case there is simultaneous attachment of my bond and simultaneous breaking of mx bond in this case there is simultaneous attachment of my bond and simultaneous breaking of mx bond this was our three mechanisms that is sn1 sn2 and interchange mechanism okay uh, in our whole lecture what we have seen uh, the uh, so what is the substitution reaction after that types of intermediate formation during sn1 and sn2 mechanism after that the main mechanism in case of substitution in octahedral complexes that is sn1 sn2 and interchange mechanism now in uh, next lecture we will see there are some evidences in uh, which there are some evidences for octahedral complexes which supports the dissociative type of mechanism that is sn1 type of mechanism uh, that the evidences are nothing but addition reaction base hydrolysis acid hydrolysis we will see all these evidences in our next lecture so uh, thank you student thank you so much thank you